<laughs> All right, what's your reaction to to that fucking area? Uh, Hoarders TV, the television show, we're on it. <laughs> Before we got in the truck, he said, I don't even think a rat wants to live in that basement. <laughs> We are about to do a pickup for a customer and he needs a quote on a basement clean out. I just wanted to document how we have to get down here. We've done a bunch of pickups for this guy, but this is like ridiculous. This truck barely fits. So we have to drive basically down this person's driveway that's not even this guy's driveway. I don't know if you can see with the sun. We're pretty much driving into someone else's backyard to go and pick up a pile of trash right there. So the pile's over there. So I'm gonna have to do like a fucking Austin Powers to get in here and try not to destroy this guy's trailer. All right, we're here. All right, so this is the pile. So this guy's a repeat customer. We've done a bunch of work for this guy. Um, he always just piles everything up um, over here. He doesn't live here. I believe it's his mother's house. Um, so we just have him pile everything up here um, and we just bill him. He mails us a check and we're good to go. Um, so Connor, you can toss this stuff in there. I'm gonna snap a pic real quick. Is it just this? Yeah, just these bags. Nice and easy. Snap a pick. Good to go. All right, so he wants a quote on a basement clean out. He told me that he doesn't care if anything in here burns, um, which means that it's all probably crap. The only stuff he wants to keep is the shelving. Oh my god huh. holy shirts and pants literally so he wants to keep the shelving and everything on it good because it's all paint and he wants me to give him a jesus christ wants me to give him a quote nasty jordan jersey Give him a quote on cleaning this place out. And that's what this video is about. Quoting a job like this. So as you can see, I'm gonna shine a flashlight over there. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked by like a fucking basement dweller. There's shit. Everywhere. So, you're probably asking yourself, Jesus Christ. You're probably asking yourself, see if I can get out of here safely. You're probably asking yourself, how do you quote a job like this? And I will tell you how I'm going to do this right now. So, he wants me to give him a number on what this is gonna cost. From what I see here, this is at the very least three trucks. He wants to come in here and mark some stuff that he wants to keep. I can't imagine it's going to be much. It might be some of the clothes. I have no idea. It doesn't seem like anything's of value in here. It looks like it's all garbage to me. Um, so it, it's the very least three truckloads. And to be honest with you, it's probably four or five. I just don't know what he's going to keep. So what I'm going to tell him is this is our rate for the truckload. This is how much weight we cover. This is how much time is included in a full truckload. 
And that's all I'm going to tell them. I'm going to say, I think it's three. It's probably going to be four or five, depending on what you take. I'm going to tell him it's three at the very least if he marks a decent amount of stuff that he wants to take. Um, and that's that. There's, there's no way that you can ever give a number on something like this. If you were to tell me that you got this job and you quoted him at X amount, you better have you better have at least multiplied what you think it is by one and a half um, because these are the jobs that you lose on. If you give someone a concrete number and say, listen, I'm gonna do this for two, three grand, um, that's how you lose money because you'll be at the two, three grand mark and you'll have another truckload to go. You'll start beating yourself up about it. You'll be all pissed off. Um, and it's not fair to do to yourself. So this obviously, yeah, it's a big job. We're going to make a decent, decent chunk of change off of this, but I'm not going to do a full day's clean out and not make money off of it. So I'm going to tell him this is how many trucks I think it is. This is how much labor and time is included in each truckload for a certain amount of guys on site. And this is the amount of weight that we cover in each truckload. I think it's going to be X amount of truckloads. I think at this, it's going to be three at the very least. Um, and it's probably going to be like five if he doesn't take anything. Um, so we'll see what happens. I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button. If you're a junk removal or business owner, um, throw your social media links down below, uh, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, so we can all go like uh, and follow your social media. Uh, if you've been following the page, I appreciate the support. I'm putting out all this content uh, to help you guys, whether you're starting a business or you're trying to grow your business, um, putting out content that I didn't have uh, or could find uh, when I started my business. So trying to iron out the kinks for you and help as much as I can. That's all for the video today.